Now that we have those things sorted out, we're going to go up here to our inserts and uh, these little tiny up and down arrows here. I'm going to click on the top one and I'm going to go to plugin and down to instrument. They consider the click an instrument, I guess. And there it is, click. That loads up the click plugin. There it is, nothing fancy. Uh, if I click here where it says factory default, uh, it gives me a few options for, you know, different click sounds. There's a cowbell, there's a marimba, um, and you can, uh, you know, save your own uh, whatever. We're just going to keep it on the factory default because that's the, that's the click that I like, and um, X out of that. Cool, so now we have our click loaded up, and if I hit play by hitting uh, spacebar, There's the click. Um, the next thing you will likely want to do is set your session tempo. Um, and this is really easy to do, and it's really cool the way that Pro Tools has done it. Uh, if we go back up here, um, there's, a, there's a tiny little uh, red uh, triangle here that says 120 next to it. Now, the default session tempo for all Pro Tools sessions is 120. Um, if I go up here to this uh, triangle, my, my cursor becomes a little pointer finger, and I double click on, uh, on that triangle. It brings up this little tempo change dialog box here. And I can enter in my BPM. I can just enter it in, you know, by hand. Or, what's really cool is, I can, if, I, if I click right here, I can tap with the T key on my keyboard. Let's, so let's say I know I want my session that fast, and it, uh, it analyzes that and enters in your tempo for you, which is a really cool feature. Once you're happy with your tempo, we're just going to keep ours at 120. Uh, once you're happy with your tempo, click OK, and uh, you are ready to go. And there it is. Um, also, Apple S. Remember that, Apple S. Uh, get into the habit of hitting Apple S all the time. Apple S is just part of my beha behavior now. Apple S, of course, is save. Uh, you always want to be saving, always be saving. Just after everything you do, create a click track, save. Create another track, save. Record something, save. Um, that has saved me uh, a lot of headaches, having that, um, uh, having that in my brain. You don't want to record uh, you know, the perfect take with, with somebody and then, oh wow, that was so brilliant, and then the computer crashes and you forgot to save it. Uh, so, always be saving. Um, cool, well the next thing we're going to do before, we, uh, before, we, before I pick up my guitar and record is I'm going to create a, a track, uh, another track. So, we do that the same way we did before. We go up to track and hit new. Uh, incidentally, the hotkey for that is Shift Apple N. Again, we're going to do the same, uh, the same kind of track. One mono audio track in samples. Easy. Then we're going to go down to our track. We're going to double click it where it says Audio 1. We're going to name it Acoustic. Okay, so now something new. Uh, we're going to set the input of the track. Now this is really important, obviously. Uh, uh, the, uh, the input of the track is this little guy right here, where it says Mic Line 2. Uh, this is the input and this is the output. Everything right now is going out of analog 1 and 2. That's my only outputs, that's what's coming to my speakers, that's what I'm hearing. Uh, so that's, that's good. And actually this is set on the right input, but if I click here, you'll see that there's, there's several options. And the, this reflects basically what the back of the Digi002 rack uh, uh, has available for, for inputs. It's got you know, several analog inputs as well as these mic line inputs. It's got the, those ADAT inputs I talked about, which are digital, and then SPDIF uh, left and right as well. So, but we're just going to keep it on two because that's, uh, 
that's the input that I'm plugged into with my microphone on the back of the on the back of the unit. So we're ready to go here, and uh, and uh, when we come back, we're going to record uh, about eight bars of, uh, of of acoustic guitar, and you you'll be on your way. Thank you.